declare his goodness, the more he manifests his goodness. One more time, I'd like us to lift up our voice and thank him for all of his goodness we have been made to be partakers of. As individuals, as a family, as a church, let God hear your voice this, month, this evening. Father, I thank you for your goodness upon me, upon my family, for your kindness, for your faithfulness. You have not left me without a witness. We give you praise and we give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, El Shaddai. Dependable God, I thank you. Reliable God, I thank you. Waymaker, I thank you. Thank you, Asian of Days. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. This service, the one that openeth and no man can close, we open the very door of your breakthrough. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That business that has been crawling in your hand, I decree by the hand of God today, a new door is opening for your business. So shall it be. In Jesus name we have prayed. It is my new dawn era. Congratulations. Put your hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. Engaging the mystery of divine presence in operating the supernatural. The presence of God is the secret behind supernatural manifestation. Is the power backup for signs and wonders. If you can succeed in carrying his presence, anywhere you go, things must work. For in his presence there is fullness of joy. At his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. The presence has the power to convert pleasures into pleasures. Where you live may not be comfortable, but his presence makes it comfortable. Your presence can make a company jack up. Your, his presence can make a business jack up. Wherever his presence is at work, things don't go on slow motion. They enjoy divine speed. They enjoy increase. So his presence is everyone's guarantee for a life of sign and wonder. One unique manifestation of his presence is that anywhere his presence is known, power must show. The proof of his presence is that there must be a manifestation of power. There are people that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do Exploit. Exploit in life, in family, in business, in career. Answers to the presence of God. So God can be with you and you end up as a non-entity. It's a lie. You must end up as a some entity.
the greatest request of Moses, if your presence go not with me, carry me not away from this place. People that carry his presence, there is always evidence to show. There is always an evidence to show. It is not the preaching of the pastor that blesses the people. It is the presence of God. Scripture says, as Jesus began to preach, the power of God was present to heal. Anybody can preach. Usher can preach. Choir can preach. Sanctuary can preach. CCU can preach. Foundation class, they can preach. So it's not their preaching, but their presence. Hear this? God can't walk with you if you are evil. God can't walk with you if you have an evil heart. Thank God we are in the era where everybody knows how to speak the Christian language. Apostle Paul puts it this way. He said, having a form of godliness, denying the power thereof. There are people that have form. A form of godliness. They can analyze pastor. Pastor doesn't have power again. No, doesn't have power. Those days when we were the prayer band, we they shake the church now. <laughs> David said, May the meditations of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight. Which means you can be rejected in his sight. When your mouth is wrong and your heart is wrong, you can be rejected. You can be in church now and be rejected. Why? There are things we do to drive God away. And there are things we do to welcome him inside. You can drive God away. David said, I will not give rest unto my soul until I found a habitation for my God. I will not give rest. No wonder when he lost the presence, he cried to get it back. He said, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. He said, cast me not away from thy presence. He said, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. He had this when you lose his presence, you will get the other presence. The moment you lose the presence of God, you will catch the presence of the devil. And one sign that you have caught the presence of the devil, your heart will be under torment. You can be in church and you are boiling with hatred, fuming with anger. It's a, Satan that's, it's a sign that Satan has caught you. He has, he has caught you. You can be in church and be imagining all manner of evil. Satan has caught you. Do you know preaching can be going on? The person is lost. He's looking at WhatsApp message. Oh, the Lord is in this place and I knew it not. Some, some they are in church and they are doing Facebook. You didn't come to church. You came to club. And they want to walk in signs and wonders. Hear me? There is a price to pay 
to carry his presence. You must pay your price. I think I need to bring this um, Ben history. When he went for one meeting, the first meeting was super. The presence of God was awesome. Awesome visitation. Awesome touch. The second meeting, his relation came. He began to talk, they talk, they talk. The Holy Ghost was not signaling him, it's time to go and pray. Remember the meeting of tonight. He was not telling the Holy Ghost, ah, my brother is here. If I go, if I go now to go and pray, how will my brother feel? So the Holy Ghost kept quiet. You know, it's a gentle spirit. He doesn't argue with you too much. Because you know you are very intelligent. <laughs> Very intelligent. <laughs> so, and I kept quiet. Time was drawing near and drawing near. So, when it was almost time, so, oh Lord, I worship you. I thank you, oh Jesus, give you praise. This evening meeting will be awesome. So, when he entered, are you wrong saying now? He was expecting power flow, but it was power dry. What guarantees the flow is the presence. What guarantees the flow is what? The presence. So, there was no word of knowledge. There was no word of wisdom. The people, they, the choir, they worshipped I am. So, there was no, somebody is getting healed here after back losses? Nothing. So, he was sweating under the atmosphere. So, immediately the meeting finished. His protocol, they just escorted him and he dived inside the car. Boa! straight to the hotel room. When he got to the hotel room, he lied down on the bed and he was asking the Holy Ghost, what happened? And the Holy Ghost said, you choose to be in your brother's presence. That was why I left you alone. He said, if you must carry my presence, there is a price to pay. Tell your neighbor there is a price to pay. Make no mistake about it. Title can deceive you. You can be pastor and not carry his presence. You can be digging dickness and not carry his presence. It's not the title that carries the presence. It is the fellowship. So no matter what you carry, until you carry divine presence, you may lose everything. What sustains blessing in our life is the presence. What makes blessing to keep flowing is what? The presence. So you lose the presence, you lose everything. So your greatest assets for a life of supernatural manifestation is the presence of God. Because if that presence is at work, signs must take place. Wonders must be recorded. I won't forget Pastor Folorosho. I had a, I had a very terrible encounter in one of my stations. The associate pastor I met on ground has been going around town telling everybody that he's the pastor of the church. So when people come for counseling, they say, is this pastor they are looking for? So I say, he has not come. Then when he comes, see his office there, when he comes, you can wait for him. So this thing continued, and you know, setting up a fight with means I am not wise. So I now told my boss, who happened to be our regional overseer then, he said, the only way to differentiate white from black is sign. The only way to differentiate title from title is what? Sign. He said, if you want the people to be regular in church, not to look for who to pray for them, and they run back, because that's what they were doing. I'm sure um, small, small change was entering their pocket. He said, sign. He said, go and wait for sign. I started a series of fasts. Man, it was a terrible experience. When I mean terrible, terrible. 
Before you know what's happening, commotion started. All manner of healing started. Before you know what's happening, it was losing identity. The cheapest way to make your enemy lose identity, let there be an outburst of sign. The moment sign started taking place, he stopped worshipping there and I relocated to Ogeli Church. So he comes only once in a while. Another thing happened. Someone was healed in one of the services and brought a car offering. He went and collected the car. <laughs> he collected the car. So my associate passed all of them. They gathered. They said, Pastor, we'll go and fight him. I said, no, 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 no. Where I'm going, there are plenty cars. I don't need to fight for Honda Accord. There are jeeps in my destiny. Tear leather, not the one where they don't overdrive. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The church board chairman, SEC, all of them, they, kept, they say, Pastor, you must react. I say, lie, lie to lie, lie. You should drive the car. It was never a topic. As he collected that car, it disappeared into the thin air. Signs were still taking place. He didn't have a place again. Hear me? You can have title and not have proofs. And the Lord was walking with them, confirming his words with signs and wonders following that was how the, the quarrel was settled the quarrel was settled with science we just need science to settle the quarrel i won't forget that experience it was a rough one but it was taken care of spiritually with wisdom science took place and drove him out of the church so when people were sharing testimony no identity again and that was how he disappeared and disappeared. He now relocated to Choba Church. When he relocated to Choba Church, the pastor said, go and bring a reference letter. Nobody to give him a reference letter. The next thing we now had, he wanted to open his church. We said, please, come and start. I can donate choir to you. You know, choir is the first to run anytime church is starting. Oh, it's true. Choir is the first to run. The <laughs> they will first of all go and ginger the place. I might say something to some. <laughs> they will ginger the place. After a while, they will begin to retreat one after the other. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tell your neighbor you need a sign. Do you know what? You were born for signs. Scripture say, I and the children God has given to me, they are for signs and for wonders. You are not for mockery. You are not for shame. You are not for disappointment. What cancels the mockery in your life is a sign. What cancels the reproach in your life is a sign. When a sign breaks out, the mockery ends. I and the children... God has given to me they are for signs and wonders. What are signs? Things that cannot be explained by any natural law. Things that cannot be manipulated by human calculation. So what you need now is a sign to break out in your life. And he said, the Lord God will give you a sign. So one of your prayers this evening, Lord, give me a sign. Give me what? A sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. So when you, when you cry out for a sign, God shows up. Yesterday we read a scripture, Joshua chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, consecrate yourself for tomorrow the Lord will do 
the Lord will do wonders among you. So every time you line up for consecration, you qualify for a sign. Living in his presence is existing in the realm of authority. Everyone that dwells in the presence of God, just like the psalmist said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say, that saying sign is the utterance of sign. People that dwell in his presence, they exist in the realm of authority. That's why a man that commands the presence of God will always command the voice of God that give back to sign. I say to one, go, and they go, and to another, come, and they come. No one that the centurion said unto Jesus, I'm a man under authority. I say to one, go, and they go, and to another, come, and they come. He says, speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Speak the word. So when you dwell in his presence, the word that goes out of your mouth, they carry fire. They carry what? Fire. No wonder when you dwell longer in his presence, your utterance is different. Living in his presence is excusing yourself from the presence of evil. Evil manifestation always detests they hate divine presence. The more you dwell in his presence, the more sickness dies. So existing in his presence or living in his presence is the cure to affliction. Is the cure to depression. Is the cure to sorrow. Is the cure to frustration. No wonder the psalmist said, I was glad when they say, Come, let us go to the house of the Lord. A day I spend in your court is more than a thousand years outside. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Your supernatural nature increases in manifestation when you dwell more in his presence. Your supernatural nature. Our nature appreciates every time we dwell in his presence. Psalm 27, let's take it from verse 3. Though a horse shall encompass against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. Verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Now look at verse 5. For in time of trouble, he will hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Verse 6 now. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifice of joy. I will sing. Yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. I will sing praises. One thing have I desire. No wonder dwelling in his presence must be a priority before you will carry his presence if it is not a priority it will not be in your heart dwelling in his presence must be a priority what are the blessings that goes with his presence number one you carry favor say with me favor so it is not my status or your status that determines the weight of blessing you get per time, but his presence. For in his presence there is fullness 
of joy and there are pleasures forevermore so everyone that is dwelling in his presence they enjoy more of god's favor who you are is not as important as who is with you if god be for us who can be against us please i beg you never you lose consciousness of divine presence because that is the secret of your triumph in any battle in any confrontation the secret of your triumph is the presence of the lord who is with you is more important than who is around you you need the presence of god so god can be with you and you maintain your status as a poor man the proof that the presence of god is with you is that the favor upon your life is increasing if you are not growing in favor check it whether the presence of god is with you because god's presence cannot be with you and you're not magnetizing blessing magnetizing favor attracting opportunity attracting open door it's a proof that the presence of god is with you Divine presence consumes opposition. In Hebrew chapter 12 and verse 29, <laughs> I love that scripture. Look at it. For our God is what? For our God is what? What LED, O oh, thou see that thou fled it? Thou Jordan that thou was driven back. He said, Tremble thou it at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. What LED? Who make your enemy to run? The presence. Your enemy can make noise, but when God's presence arises against them, they are in trouble. So you need the presence of God to win in any battle. No wonder David said, a host may encompass against me. A host. A host is no one to drill. A host is a battalion. So you need the presence of God to triumph. Another blessing of his presence his signs and wonders and the Lord was walking with them confirming his word with signs following one proof that the Lord is walking with you is that signs are showing signs are manifesting if signs are not manifesting please run back to the altar and cry Lord what have I done just like they, they said, is this Psalm 94, Psalm 74? For we see not our signs. For we see not our signs. Anytime you stay and you are not seeing signs, please run back to that secret place. Cry out so that there will be a restoration of his presence. For we see not our signs. Divine presence also guarantees security. Say with me, security. No wonder David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. He said in another place, I will be with you always. I will be with you always. I want you to hear this. The presence of God is a defense round about you. It's a defense round about you. As they move from one nation to another, from a people of one language to a people of another language, he suffered no man to do them wrong, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Touch not. Touch not is a command. Let 
And if God said, touch not, touch not. If you dare the defense, you will pay for it. How do we attract the presence? Number one, you must be born again. We got that on Wednesday. If a man be in Christ, not if a man be in church, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all things are become what? New. There must be newness of heart. Your spirit man is born again, but your, but your soul, your heart needs to undergo what we call transformation. You must be in Christ. It is that Christ in you that guarantees the presence of God all around you. Christ in you. Where the heart's confession is made unto what? Salvation. Where the heart's man believeth, but where the mouth's confession is made unto salvation. So it's with the heart. Christ must be formed in your heart. You must receive Christ in your heart. There must be an assurance of salvation that guarantees his presence. So the presence of God is not for religious people. It's for people that have made up their mind to accept Jesus Christ. Now hear me. It is one thing to be born again. It's another thing to maintain your being born again. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't be born again and be living crooked. Living like an unbeliever. Going to terrible places. Doing terrible things. And when you enter church, it's my new dawn era. And it will born. My new dawn era. <laughs> but there was, there was someone that saw you when you were going there. I might say something to somebody. May you not lose the presence of God. Amen. Number two, what do you need to do to attract his presence? <laughs> he said, these people have I formed for my glory that they will show forth my praise. Psalm 22 and verse 3. Psalm 22 and verse 3. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabited the praise of what? So praise creates a habitation for God. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. Oh, today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. All I know, all I know. You are always there for me. Almighty God, Almighty God. You are my only one. No matter what I say, everything has come my way, I will pray. You alone are worthy, Lord. You alone are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are alone are worthy, Lord. You are alone not worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. To be present, I don't. You've been faithful, Lord. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages past. That is my Lord. I want to let you know there is music in every soul to praise God. You don't need choir instruments. 
there is music in your soul. Do you know you can be singing song in your dream? Has it happened to any one of you? That goes to let you know that that song you are singing is your victory song that day. Is your vi- That's the song you need to win that day. But some of you, the moment you wake up, hey, what you have been the singing? That's your victory song. David said, I will not give rest unto my soul until I found a habitation for my God. So every day, you create a habitation. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous thing for me. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous he yet to do marvelous things. Marvelous God, what a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for me. Marvelous God. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He yet to do marvelous things for me. So look for song is not difficult. Check the genesis of your life. There is something God has done. You have a genesis. Maybe you are in Exodus now, or you are in Numbers, or you are in Leviticus, or you are in Matthew. Am I saying something to somebody? There is something God has done. Only people that can think well can praise well. You know that song? Rise up to your feet. Present. There are songs you will be singing, you will be crying. Who am I to have reached this level? Should I tell you something? In real life, nobody will give you a chance. But God is the one tearing doors open for you. Opening doors for you. I want to let you know where I am today, nobody gave me a chance. In fact, it's a surprise that this guy Upon all the whole thing, you see they go forward. That's why I need to keep praising him. You need to keep thanking him so that I, wa- I won't lose his presence. His presence is the backup. That shop you think that nothing will work. Organized perfume. Praise is a divine perfume that attracts the presence of God. Things must work. You won't miss it again. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Take your seat. How do you attract his presence again? Absolute obedience to instruction. If they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity and their days in pleasure. Obedience breaks the backbone of Satan in your life. Every time you are responding to obedience, Satan is disappointed. Satan becomes angry. Satan is handicapped. Why? You have lost touch with him. Why? You responded to obedience. So anytime you are walking in disobedience, God is staying far from you. 
The more you walk in disobedience, the more the spirit is leaving you. It's leaving you. You are on your own. You can't be walking in disobedience and be carrying his presence. Do you know you can be quoting scripture and be walking in disobedience? Some people have reason for what they are doing. Proverbs 29, let's read that scripture. Proverbs 29, we are rising up to pray now. He that been often reproved, hardened his neck, shall suddenly be what? And that without remedy. That's the danger of disobedience. You'll be going small, small. You are going. You are going. Destruction will just hit you, Boa. And lastly, to attract his presence, make your boast in the Lord. Declare what God can do. That's why anytime we are making prophetic utterance, we don't do gentle utterance. We make wild utterance. Any enemy of your life that has vowed that you will not rest, God will kill him. See, someone can say amen. God told Moses, tell Pharaoh, if you don't let Israel go, I will kill your son to free my son. Who said it? So anyone that has vowed that you will not cross, that over their dead body, will you enter that blessing? I want to let you, their dead body is already confirmed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So make your boast in the Lord. No wonder David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He said, my mouth shall make a boast in the Lord. What does he make, mean to make your boast in the Lord? You declare openly to the annoyance of your enemy what your God can do. You provoke them. You know, there are some things you declare. Some people around you, they get offended. See the way he's even talking, self. See the way he's even talking, self. Okay, the thing you are talking about. Okay, make God do and I make you see. These are the things that provoke God to act in your favor. Words attract personalities. When you declare the word of God, you attract the spirit of God. You declare it. I will not end up in shame. My enemy's expectation will be disappointed. The more you are saying it, they are getting angry. Even if their monitoring spirit is around, they can tell them, this is what I said. You make your boast in the Lord. Because who you make your boast about is who defends you. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? July 8th is a reality. You see now, some people are even afraid. Whether you are afraid to say amen or you are saying meh, July 8th is a reality. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? July 8th is a reality. You can boldly tell someone, I must marry this year. If you like, get angry. Oh. People around you can be offended. Oh. You must marry this year. I want to say to someone, you will build your house this year. Someone is still wondering, where will the money come from? Wait, now you go see something. I say you go see something. I say you go see something. You can build a house in 42 days. I'm talking of painting everything complete. 42 days complete. It doesn't take six months to build a house. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Do you know that most of those duplexes in um, CU, they built it in 52 days? Ultimately, you must finish it and hand over the key. 
52 days, everybody must finish. How much more five bedroom duplex? Ooh. Hear me? That blessing you are looking for, it will answer to you this month. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever is contending with the blessing you desire, the God of Oyerebo clear him out of the way. Say amen like a believer. Any mouth that has vowed over their dead body, will they see you carry that blessing? I decree let them go down for you. You are not saying amen like a believer. Whatever look like an evil decision sitting over your life, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that spell is broken in the name of Jesus. You are not saying amen like a believer. When they are expecting you to cry this month, God will give you all round laughter. All round laughter. The very door the vow will not open for you. Between now and Sunday, you will hear good news that the door is open. Say that amen again. If God be for me, my secret of triumph is the secret place. If you are looking for my trouble, follow me into the secret place.